Hey everybody, it is Kevin here, WarGod63. It's been, God, five months since I did an update. Uh, I wasn't going to come back, but I decided better come back. Um, I've got a lot of stuff over the last five months, uh, but I've slowed down considerably over last year. Uh, I've got more CDs this year than vinyl, uh, which is a shocker. But I'm going to show you uh, a couple of one Kickstarter package, and then I'm going to show you the vinyl and the seven-inch I've acquired. Uh, the first half of the year. So uh, anyway, uh, subscribe below if you want. You know, it's up to you. So first off, what's playing? A band called Ancestor out of Canada some Canadian thrash. This is called uh, Behind the Mask. It's on uh, Rip Ride Records. Good stuff. And this is a, uh, I'll show this another update, but anyway. <clears throat> so I'm gonna first show you the package I've gotten, but it is awfully warm in here and uh, happy 4th of July to everybody in the US and uh, happy Canada Day, eh? So I got a real long week and I got to work tomorrow, uh, but it's double time, so gladly work. So anyway, let's get started with um, the Kickstarter. This is from a band that I'm sure some of you know, some of you may not know, but I've supported this band since day one. I've Kickstartered all their packages, and this band is, let's see if I can get it out. It is A Sound of Thunder and their uh, new album, uh, The Crimson Cult. It's been well over a year since this was uh, uh, kickstarted, so you know, a lot of delays. I'm waiting on one other Kickstarter package that's been taking two years, and I know it's coming here within the next month or two. So, but uh, Sound of Thunder. Uh, signed by the band in the back here it's got a really nice uh, booklet in here and uh, credits all these credits on here my name is in there these are all the members that kickstarted to the project um, I don't know if, if I know anybody else in here but there are a lot of people I'd say 500 or so but uh, I am in there it says Kevin Metal War God poise so anyway the package was I paid $99 or $100 for the package and uh, so I got the vinyl um, I got the shirt very cool shirt. I think it's one of their nicest shirts they've ever designed and cover. So, here's the back. So yeah, happy to get that. And then I got a... Uh, a pop koozie. Beer koozie, whatever you want to call them. I got a whole bunch of them up there. Probably 15 of them from bands. So I got that. Uh, I picked up the cassette. Had to have that. And then you get a signed uh, three by five, kind of a postcard by the band. Just kind of has a little hail to the Legion Thunder. Hail Legion of Thunder, I should say. Good stuff. If you don't know, uh, Sound of Thunder is female fronted. Nina Asagueda is the vocalist. And then you get, you get the CD as well. Very cool. And 
You get the comic book, which is also signed. I have a couple of these uh, from the band in a couple different packages. I got one up up there that is uh, the Book of Death, all signed by Sound of Thunder. Uh, they do comics as well, so very talented band. So anyway, that's what I got for my Kickstarter package. Uh, now for 7-inch. Um, this I got from Scott Waters, uh, 38 Special, Rock and Roll Strategy, it has uh, on the A side, what is the A side here, Rock and Roll Strategy and B side is Love Strikes. So, some 38 special. I picked up uh, Mystical Moon Pillars and Medicine Man, A and B side. I picked up Ritual Servant, which is Veritas. Uh, the R side, which is uh, hearers and doers and the S side is into the swine. Of course, uh, if you don't know uh, Ritual Servant, uh, they used to be Crowler. They gravitated more towards Christian rock. Patrick Best on vocals. Uh, I got all the Prowler stuff. So good stuff here. And then, yeah, I don't know if I showed these or not, but I picked up uh, some Van Halen, Oh Pretty Woman and Happy Trails. I picked up uh, Motley Crue, Smoking in the Boys Room, and Use It or Lose It. And then this came this week, some Solicitor with Killer for Hire and Megalomaniac. So, those are the sevens. Um, hang on guys. All right, I, I knew I forgot something. Well, then I picked up a few more cassettes. I picked up uh, the Accusers. This one here is Agitation on cassette. Then I picked up Confusion, let's see, Confusion Romance. Then I picked up Dependent Domination, all from uh, Rocks or uh, See, these are put out by Brutal Planet, but I picked them up over at Rocks, and I picked up Reflections. And then this came yesterday, a band called Stunt Rock, or a band called Sorcery, and the album Stunt Rock. This comes from uh, Riding Easy Records, more stoner, doomish, uh, metal label there. Good stuff there. Okay. Let's get into more vinyl here. Uh, I really like this band from when I first heard it. Uh, and I finally picked up the vinyl from Soul Grinder. And uh, The Prophecy of Life. Bands out of uh, Portland, Oregon, female fronted. Um, just think a metal version of of uh, uh, Wendy O. Williams and uh, her band, and this is what you get with Soul Grinder. Very cool stuff. Then I pre ordered this. Uh, I got this last week from Cruz Del Sur. I picked up the Adamantis. 
EP, uh, the Damon Strain, four songs, A and B side. Uh, so good stuff here. This is really fantastic stuff here. I think it's on regular black vinyl, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's just black vinyl. So hopefully we'll get some uh, a full length here by the end of the year, possibly. But Adamantus. And I picked up a band called Nightcrawler and the album No Escape, some new wave of traditional heavy metal. Uh, this came out, I think I want to say it was 2019, uh, Dying Victims Records. I think this is just black vinyl as well. Yeah, just black vinyl. Oh. Good stuff here. This I got today. This is a, uh, a record store day item. I never, I didn't go to record store day. Uh, I haven't gone in the last three years. Uh, I, I just quit going to them. I just feel it. maybe I can buy them online. And I found this one over at Discogs for the same price as it was going for by the indie dealers. I picked up the sweet platinum rare number two. And it has uh, pretty much the hits, some uh, deep cuts, uh, some demos, stuff like that. But uh, I love sweet, so I picked this up. This came today as well. Um, this is a radio promo. It's got the call letters on it, but I picked up the Saxon waiting for the night. Uh, it's from Rock the Nations. And uh, it is a single, so I never had this, so I picked it up from uh, 86, so Saxon. These I'm gonna show a little bit later. Those are fantastic stuff. So then I picked up uh, this quart single. Um, over at uh, Shadow Kingdom Records, it is uh, side A has Satan's Serenade, the 12 inch single, and then it has on B it has Satan's Serenade or Satan's Serenade, Bloody Fool on one, and Nick, Mick Hopkins guitar solo. Roll over Beethoven live, and then side B has Nantucket Sleigh Ride, the seven inch single, and it has the uh, Nantucket Sleigh Ride and Wildfire on that. It's all quartz, new wave of traditional or new wave of British heavy metal band. They just put out a new release. So, yeah, nice to have that. Um, Slowly but surely, I am getting all these on vinyl. I just show you, showed you the cassettes. Scott Water sent me this one. Uh, Accuse Your Repent. I did not have this one on vinyl. Fantastic. Good stuff. Great German thrash. Always great stuff from these guys. So I got this to add to my collection. And then I have, I bought these over at, uh, I believe it was through Rocks Records. But Brutal uh, Planet Records put these out. Limited run vinyl. The accuser here is uh, Dependent Domination. Which is uh, the CD or the cassette and the vinyl. So happy to get this one as well. And then uh, <clears throat> Reflections. A 
cassette and uh, vinyl. I think the rest are coming out of vinyl, so good stuff. Going back into the early 70s with some southern rock from a band called Sailcat and the album Motorcycle Mama. I do love some southern rock. It's a two-man project. Uh, this came out in 1972. So some Sailcat. number of years back I used to really buy a lot of 70s stuff that really wasn't available to me around where I live so I, I went out and I did a lot of searching online YouTube and I bought probably well over a thousand albums from the 70s early 70s late 60s stuff that people never heard of that's another one there and then I picked up this was a pre-order as well uh, Lady Beast Omens this is an EP. Um, it is on this pretty black and white kind of a splatter. And then it it has the etching on there. Good album, very killer album. Uh, love Lady Beast. I own all their stuff. Uh, right now they are working on some new material so in fact uh, last weekend was uh, Deborah Levine puts on Metal Immortal Festival the number three just was last weekend so there are a few guys from like the Wisconsin area Chicago area that were down there uh, Randy Kastner was there so this is a great album great EP been going back into uh, this guy's catalog some stuff I never had on vinyl I picked up uh, School of Hard Knocks from Pat Travers yellow version I think this is originally yeah, originally released in 1990 and re released in 2019 by Purple Pyramid Purple Pyramid does a great job re-releasing band stuff uh, this is good And then I, I don't know how I missed this in the early days from Pat Travers, but this is the Pat Travers You Missed mini album. I don't know how I've ever missed this one. It's the first album you ever put out. And also, side one has Make No Difference and Magnolia. Side two has Boom Boom, Out Go The Lights, Stop and Smile and Feeling All Right. Uh, so good stuff it, it is five tracks you'll hear on this EP are taken from the first album uh, recorded Pat Travers in September of 76 he had just signed to Polydor and uh, so love me some Pat Travers this was a uh, Shadow Kingdom by only a few were limited to 700 uh, Kind of a death doom Band I think they are out of Italy. I believe Let's see. More black metal first wave of black metal band uh, Released in 85 um, And uh, it is take it out of the plastic here Bulldozer and the Day of Wrath. And it is on this, uh, let's see, what is it? This kind of a purple clear splatter vinyl. So, good stuff here. 
I'm sure you can still pick it up. But a Shadow Kingdoms pickup, so happy to get this. Been kind of slow over there. Same with the Rocket Roll. They haven't. There's stuff there that I want, but I'm not going to pay the all exuberant prices on it. So I've just been kind of staying away. But I did pick up this bulldozer. I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, these I bought from a friend of mine uh, who is the lead singer for Glacier. Um, he does. He has a record store out in uh, Oregon. Michael Pad Padrayo. I, I'm gonna butcher the name anyway. Uh, so I picked up Militia, and this is and the Gods Made War. This is from uh, 2020 High Roller release. So it's a Militia, <clears throat> and then I picked up. I never had this, I never see it, so I finally picked this up. Witch Cross Fit for Fight. This was, uh, I think, originally released in 84. I do have uh, uh, a box set of this with some extras. So, good stuff here. I picked up a band called Bomber, <clears throat> new wave of traditional heavy metal, uh, Nocturnal Creatures. This is some great stuff here. Definitely picked this up. Uh, again, new wave of traditional heavy metal. It's on, uh, let's see, what is it? It's over on Napalm Records. So, good stuff. This is a band out of Canada, kind of more of a retro 70s band. Uh, pro rock. Uh, not really pro rock, more, uh, more 70s orientated music. Band called The Sheepdogs. And uh, the album Out of Sight. If you like 70s infused for hard rock, this is what you're going to get with The Sheepdogs. <coughs> They're based out of out of, uh, I think, Montreal, I believe this band is out of. But I pre-ordered this. <clears throat> so, good stuff there. And then I picked up the new Robin Trower, No More Worlds to Conquer. Fantastic blues rock album. Still going strong at 72. Um, then I got the third album from Civil War, Invaders. Of course, this band was, had, some of these band members were in uh, Sabaton at one time. They just split off. And uh, those members formed Civil War. Good stuff. This is a pre-order. Um, and it's been a while since uh, this band put out some new material, Skull Fist, and it is uh, paid in full. This is the black version. And then I have the orange, red, black, marbled version of this. New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal. Great album. This is a fantastic album. Uh, if you like New Wave of Traditional Heavy Metal. So, good stuff. Uh, a while back I showed uh, the Wolf album that was autographed. I, uh, where it came damaged, the corner was, was got wet and it was damaged in the corner. It dried out. Um, let's see here. I think I have the other one in here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Okay. 
So this is the one that was first shipped to me. And the cover was damaged. You can I don't know if you can, you can see it here. It's damaged right down here. But the album plays fine. I mean, yes, it's damaged. I have it. And I was in contact with uh, the guys in Wolf and told them about it. And I didn't, you know. And they said, yeah, uh, we, the label should ship better and, and so forth. So I, I thought it was a done deal. Well, lo and behold, about, uh, about a month ago, I got a brand new one. And the vinyl's in there. All I wanted was the cover, but they, they sent me another copy. Pristine condition, maybe. Ah, uh, there's just a tiny little seam split here, which is a lot better than the other one. But uh, So I'm happy to get this. And uh, so kudos to Wolf and for uh, sending out a new copy to me. Thank you very much. And then, of course, got the new creator, Hate Ubers Allies. Creator is creator, we know. Good stuff. Always buy a new creator. <clears throat> and the last two, uh, these are are rarities even to find uh, OGs. I mean, they're virtually impossible. And if you do find them, they're astronomically high. Uh, and they're Japanese releases. You know, I've looked for years and years and years for OGs and nothing, I don't ever see it. Well, Nori Morris uh, reissued these. And it was a no-brainer to buy them. I'm just glad to have them. Of course, these first two albums have Randy Rhodes on it. So, I pick, picked them up. Let's see which one is this? Quiet Riot, self-titled. This is number one on No Remorse. Uh, originally released in 78. Um, of course, it has Randy Rhodes, Kevin Dubrow, Kelly Garney, Drew Forsyth. Of course, Quiet Riot really never made it big until Mental Health, which shook the world back in the 80s. So I picked these up. This one here, and I picked up Quiet Riot number two. Grails, yes, not originals, but still Grails to me. Uh, Probably way better sounding than uh, uh, the originals. This one came out in 79, except this one has Rudy Sarzo on it instead of, uh, who did I say it was? Kelly Garney. So Kelly Garney exited and then uh, Rudy Sarzo entered. So. Just happy to have these. Uh, so, anyway, guys, enjoy. Leave comments if you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, been a while, so I figured I'd do uh, a video. I got another one I'm going to do of CDs. So, those I got quite a few to show there. So, anyway, take care and keep it mental and rock on.